previously on Ready to Die. And today we're going to be absolutely roasting, absolutely cooking some cybersecurity CVs today. Okay, welcome back, guys, to part two of the cybersecurity CV interviews. You guys really, really seem to enjoy the last one, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy this one just as much as the last one. So, if you don't know who I am, my name is Sia. I've been in cybersecurity for around three years, but I also help people land a job in cyber or break into the cybersecurity industry. So if you're looking to pursue that roadmap, then sit down and hopefully this can, this video can give you some tips and guidance on how to structure a CV. Yeah, let's look at the first one. No, 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 no. Hey man, now we just arrived. Just in the legs. Just in the legs. Please, man. Just search. This guy got his direct home address here. Please remove that. Don't put your direct home address. We don't even know where you live. Uh, email number. I got the LinkedIn. Got, got the GitHub. If you're going to link your GitHub, I hope you have some good projects there. Not just a static website and a calculator project. Professional summary, uh, yeah, looks decent. Maybe just make it a bit more brief. I don't got time for all of that. <laughs> yeah. Experience, IT support technician, this looks fine to me. So for the title, I'd, I'd, slight, I'd make this slightly bigger, just so that it can stand out more. Um, and then put the title, location, date, and the company we work at within like one sentence. Projects. So what you can do is just like making bold the keywords or highlight some keywords when you're describing your project. I don't know if you have a link to this or there's a PDF or there's a write-up, maybe you can link that. Qualifications, got a bachelor's degree in computer information systems. Certifications, so it's AZ900. This one I believe is SC900, then CompTIA Network Plus. Technical skills. Just add more cybersecurity related skills. Um, see, I mean, just any open source tool that you've used. Languages, bro is multilingual. The only one that really matters in the workspace is English. The rest are just bonuses. References, you don't have to add all of them there. Maybe you can just say references available upon request. This is decent, man, it's decent. Just needs a bit of minor changes, make it more security focused. But um, it's one of the better ones that I've seen. Let's go on to the next. Okay, cool. So here's another one. Uh, this is a docx. When you posting a CV or uploading a CV, um, just save it as a PDF, right? So we got his name here, got his number. South Africa. Okay, we're in South Africa. Are you in Cape Town, Eastern Cape, Limpopo? Where? 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 Where are you, dude? Say so put the position right next to the name. Maybe center this, make this slightly bigger. Professional summary, let's see. This is mainly, again, IT support focused. You came to me saying you want to be in cybersecurity. So yeah, just change this to be more cybersecurity focused. Certifications, they decent, I would say. None of them, I don't see any cybersecurity certifications here. A grand total of zero cybersecurity certifications. You are, you are a bum, to put it politely. You are backward. Are oh, you sure you want to be in cybersecurity? It seems like you want to be an <coughs> IT support technician. Yeah, technical skills. Okay, now I do see some cybersecurity stuff. But yeah, no, this is very, very geared towards IT support. Even the projects, except for this one cyber project. At this point, just make a brand new CV. Hey. Hey. Sorry, hey. Start from scratch. But like the layout, it's very good. Work experience, pick and pay, fruit and vegetables department. Yeah, another thing, if you have work experience that is not IT related, don't even put it on your CV. It's not IT related. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. We need it going. Yeah, I mean, we've all had like minimum wage jobs or first jobs. I think my job, my first job was uh, 
was like working in an ice cream shop. I am a hustler, bro. You understand? So we used to like sell milkshakes and ice cream and donuts and like waffles. But I would never, I would never put that on my CV or LinkedIn. Never do such a thing. You know, LinkedIn is crazy. References. You got <laughs> No, I just just book a meeting with me. I'm like, if you're watching this video, you know this is your CV. Book a meeting with me, and you know, just start from scratch. But the name again, position next to the name, location Johannesburg, East Rand. You can even remove East Rand. Just say Johannesburg. Aspiring. I hate the word aspiring. Don't put aspiring on your LinkedIn or CV anyway. Don't put aspiring. Don't put. Junior. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I'd read through this whole summary and just talk about what you've done so far. So previously completed either a home lab or cloud lab or SOC simulation or these courses or certifications. And then it goes on to my next point. I see you've completed a whole lot of certifications. So it's actually like, these are actually really good certifications. Really good experience and projects. Yeah, I like this, I like this. So this person, um, you know, has three projects. So the first one is like SOC investigations, but then you went in detail about what you did, you know, then you even got a cloud project, so configuring IAM roles. So that's very cool. Great, great, great stuff with the projects. That's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. Skills and competencies. You have like a hundred thousand skills. Let's just talk about what you do. So first of all, delete this fast learner, highly adaptable. Everyone's a fast learner, can work well under pressure, highly adaptable, responsible. Uh, that, that, I'm losing my mind. At this point, I'm just going to say any soft skills, just, just take them out of the skill section. Just put like hard skills, tools that you've used or direct like cybersecurity skills that you, you are proficient in. Education. No one cares about your matric high school marks. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. As long as you have matric, then that's good. Otherwise, great stuff. I see you are a student. Ironically, not in in uh, IT. You are no learner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. You put it there, so I have the license to roast you there. Sorry. Why me? Delete this whole section. Otherwise, it's actually not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. I've seen this. Let's go on to the next one. Another one. Okay, cool. So got the name, no position next to it. You got the direct home address. Guys, please stop, stop, stop doing this. No one, no, no one wants to know where you live. You know, no recruits gonna come knocking you door. Hey, here's a job. Just say <laughs> the area you're living, or just round off to the nearest big city. Professional summary. This seems actually really good. So it's actually very, very good. It talks about their comp, their comp student. They go deeper into their cybersecurity skills, try me, did, you know, network defense, did hunting, all of that. But yeah, no, this is a very, I like the summary actually, I like it. You might as well just remove this whole section. I've been going back and forth about adding soft skills to a CV. And I'm coming to a conclusion and saying that we must take them out of CV. In terms of cybersecurity, not much technical skills, but in terms of like, you know, obviously you did comm sci, so you weren't just doing cyber, you were doing like programming, databases, all of that. So I'd say it's quite decent. I like the structure of it. Oh, cybersecurity and this trainee at Hacking Hub. Um, so like work experience, but again, the stuff that you do within Hacking Hub, um, you can't say work experience because you do a lot of hands-on training, whether it's labs or projects or presentations or, you know, certifications, things like that. So. That's really, really cool. Then you have database tutor um, at that specific place. Okay, yeah, you are a mentor. You are also a tutor again. I think that's quite decent. Shows that you weren't just doing this stuff. You were actually um, teaching other people. So in education, we got diploma in computer science, leadership positions, got a bit of certifications. 
I'll just add here again, add a project, cybersecurity project, add more cybersecurity related skills. Yeah, no, it's not too bad actually. Not too bad. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, cool. So we got this person, cybersecurity student, entry level. I don't like the, the word entry level. What? You're just ruining it. You're ru Look at my lips. You're ruining it. Ruin Please don't use the word entry level, aspiring, junior. The formatting, first of all, that needs to go. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. We need it gone. Don't add your address there, just add the city in. So Santon, that's Johannesburg. Got a couple of certifications. But you don't have it though. You're standing towards them. Don't lie. You see, don't lie on the public platform. Okay, maybe just say when you, you plan to write, when you plan, plan to obtain them. Got a couple of projects here. Technical skills, personal attributes. You guys know how I feel about this. Probably just probably just basically take this out availability oh, that's a new one take this out take this out format it nicely you know top to bottom stack everything um vertically professional summary keep the brief simple yeah i like that good job my brother we rocking with you skills so it says your it help this self-initiated what what Bro, what are you talking about, man? Don't say professional experience, rather just say projects. Because it seems like, yeah, it seems your home labs. The project is fine. Just, yeah, don't put professional experience. Just maybe just say projects. Okay, SOC analyst, self-initiated again. <laughs> um, it's a project, not professional experience. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, you play your own SOC environment. So I like this. This is very, very cool. Oh, here's another one. Another one. Vulnerability management project, great stuff, great stuff. Education, just got high school there, so that's fine. Certifications, um, yeah, these are fine. Maybe if you can, try and go for, again, the industry recognized certifications. Coursework, so you got Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, CompTIA A plus Cyber, additional information, got a driver's license, code 10. I believe that's for, for truck driving. Um, achievements, got some high school achievements regarding CSCSO. I'll just remove additional information, add more certifications, and then just say projects, not professional experience. But yeah, I think that's it <laughs> for this uh, CV review. If you guys need any assistance regarding, you know, looking at your CVs or getting into cybersecurity, please reach out to me on LinkedIn. Uh, if you wanna join a community of young ambitious individuals looking to break into or excel in their cybersecurity career, please apply to Hacking Up in the link down below. Um, then we'll reach out to you uh, once we've taken a look at your application. Otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. But yeah, if you guys want a, another part, you want, guys want me to review your CVs, just send them through to my email. Um, then you'll just take it from there. Otherwise, thank you very much, cheers. Thank you.